Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a multiple nuclear model of new urban land use. And uh, the concentric zone model and the sector model are all monocentric. Usually they are multiple centers in a city, especially in a large city. And they are not taking heavy industry into consideration. The heavy industry will have a huge effect on the layout of residential area. Multiple center is the nature of cities. So, in 1945, Harris and Alman presented the multiple nuclear model. They think that there is still have economic cells beside the CBD or say there is multiple business centers in the city. So the land use model should be different from the concentric model and the sector model. What should be the model center model like? Well, there are several controlling factors for the model. Well, first, certain activities require specialized facilities and congregate where these are available. For example, industry requires transport facilities and other located close to railway lines, major roads, or port facilities. Number two, similar activities. That means functional similar. Similar activities uh, group together to profit from external economies of association, leading to the uh, emergence of specialized legal districts or financial quarters. This phenomenon is positive externalities in, in economy. We will introduce urban economy in our later videos. The well, third one is some activities repel each other owing to negative external, externality effects, as seen in the uh, separation of high income residents from industry. For example, the middle class and high class residential should not be adjacent to the uh, industrial area. This phenomenon is called space segregation in urban planning. And uh, in urban planning, we usually separate these incompatible functions apart. We will also cover these in our later videos. Some uh, and number four, some activities should, which could benefit from a central location in or near the CBD, but which can't afford the high rents demand, must locate elsewhere. That means the bed rent curve that I mentioned in the concentric zone model is still the main principle of this model. Warehousing or grocery wholesaling are examples of activities that require large structure and would benefit from a centric location. Usually, they are well connected to the CBD by highway or railways. So, let's get started the model. First, the CBD is occupying the, science, the center. The center is the best place to access to all other places in the city. Without the assumption of homogeneous, this center may not be the very center in geometry concept. It is just the place where accessibility is the best. These are the these are easily to become the CBD. When uh, there are several high accessibilities in the city, some of them will become a business center. And uh, in this model, there's one business center in the city, which we called outlying business district just like a, um, a lower class CBD. Usually, they have a high accessibility. 
There may be several outlying business districts in a city, but in this model picture, there's only one of it. And um, then, do you, do you remember where the uh, industry located in the concentric zone model? Yes, right next to the CBD. In this model, the uh, industry is mainly wholesale and light manufacturing. That's number two. They need the CBD to consume their product, and they need workers and railways. As they need uh, workers, so uh, the low income or low class residential area is just adjacent to the um, industrial area and the CBD. And in this case, it's um, adjacent to the CBD and the wholesale light man manufacturing area. They can provide workers to the CBD and the industrial area. But what about the uh, the area around the uh, the outlying business district? Well, the number seven. Um, there should be some low income residential area located there, but they will too complex. I think maybe Harris and Elman want to make it simple, and uh, I will introduce model the model of the 21st century city in the following videos. Well, next uh, for the middle class or medium class residential area, they want to have a better living quality. So they will be away from the industrial area. And they are willing to have a better access to the CBD and outlying business district for better services. And the high class residential group have a high income. They can easily overcome the transport fee. Do not want to access to the low class res residents. Well, that, uh, well, this phenomenon, they don't want to access to the lo low class res residents. That's um, uh, a kind of social segregation. We will talk about that in our later videos. Social segregation is a very important phenomenon in our urban planning. Um, for, and for the uh, environmental uh, uh, issues, they also uh, want to stay away from the CBD to get a better living quality. And for the uh, heavy industry, there's pollution and many other problems that will bother the residential area. It also made abundant assumption and supply usually located next to a port. So um, this area will locate it away from the city, but it has a highway or railway connection to the city and the CBD. Also adjacent, adjacent to the low income um, resident, residential area. Uh, heavy industry need workers also. And um, Outside the city, there's a res residential. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, outside the city, there's a residential suburb for these who want to have a great living environment. They are usually the wealth. Also, there is uh, uh, outside the city. There is also an uh, industrial area. Uh, the number eight and nine are residential and uh, industrial suburbs. Well, in this model is uh, this model is a little complex, but it it is still based on the space rent theory, uh, or or we can say bit rent curve. It makes the uh, assumption that high density buildings are ten trending to access the CBD and outlying business district. But actually, they are surrounded by the wholesale and the light manufacturing. Without the assumption of homogeneous, um, the layout of functions are flexible and do not have a certain layout. 
So there, um, the layout should be uh, other uh, type. Uh, this is one one type. This is um, the founder um, Harris and Almond's picture for this model. Well, uh, that's for the model model nuclear model of the land, urban land use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want to know about the uh, urban planning, leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe.